But if you're going to legitimize shoot fighting, you're going to legitimize um, you're going to legitimize uh, real combat sports. Where the fuck is Medusa? And before you answer, <laughs> before you answer, let me pontificate on that. <laughs> the, hold, hold just a second, because I dug up some shit for Paul Heyman, who said, "Oh shit." This is Paul from a Google, from a Sports Yahoo article I shared with you. Being the new female in WCW couldn't have been easy for Medusa, especially when her job was to be pre-China female who was willing to fight with men, whether it was kicking Ricky Steamboat in the head or climbing to the top of the doomed war game domed war games cage to go face to face with the WWE Hall of Fame and Sting, and this was in 1992 before Mick Foley and Undertaker battled Hell in the Cell in Pittsburgh. Medusa was always breaking ground in a business that found her to have come along a few years too early. That was mm. my takeaway, and that's my takeaway about your entire career as you came along too early. We call you a trailblazer. You're a WWE Hall of Famer. We know that you work with the WWE, and we're going to get there here to WrestleMania in a minute. Where the fuck were you? I mean, this is shoot fighting. They're talking about, we're talking about Shayna and um, Lola, and you're not there. You have a karate background, a fighting background. You've choreographed fight scenes. Where were you? Where was the car? Uh, well, maybe I hurt Booker's feelings and he's got a lot of pull and maybe that's why I didn't get to go. I don't know. So, I, you know, and I should have been there. I mean, that's my background. I mean, so a long time ago, if you're speaking of Paul Heyman, I mean, I think he wrote an article uh, in Wahoo News or Yahoo, Yahoo, Wahoo, Yahoo News that Medusa was the Ronda Rousey before she was Ronda Rousey or something like that. And it was like yep. huge is what he wrote. And I was like, holy shit, like this dude is amazing, right? I, I, very unexpected. And um, I was absolutely flattered. So my background is I was having, um, I was wrestling and then I was, pra I was like training to box, right? And boxing became this thing that the regiment of freaking boxing and the train, oh my gosh, unbelievable, unbelievable, right? So I uh, went to Japan from AWA and I went there for a three-year contract. It was a handshake, by the way. That's how Japanese are, freaking amazing. And so when I was there, they're looking at me and they're looking like MAD USA, you know, oh, we like made into USA, yay. And so I was like, oh my God. And my hair, you know, was super long and like really white, like blonde, blonde. And they would like come up and touch my hair. And it was like the freakiest thing, but it was so great. Um, and so they're like, oh, you strong. We, we do something else. And boy, let me tell you, it was the only organization I worked for that marketed the hell out of me from gimmicks and toys and posters and flags and you name it. I even had my own calendar. I even had my own CD that I gave concerts and sang in Japanese called Who's Medusa? And so I was like, wow. So then they said, you know what? You're really good. You're strong. You are going to Thailand. I said, what? Story's in my book, by the way, guys. You're going to Thailand. And I'm like, why? Oh, good. Um, Phuket. Yay. <laughs> you know, one of the most beautiful places in Thailand. You got to go, by the way. Anybody you want to go to Thailand, go to Phuket. And so, oh, my God. So they send me and I'm like, there you have me training. Um, Muay Thai kickboxing. I have karate lessons. Karate is how they say it. Um, and I was in a whole new world. Like, I, it was my second coming. Like, oh, like it was unbelievable. I was so damn good at it. I excelled like a mofo. And they just sat there and went, oh, my God. So I had my first boxing MMA fight before there was even an MMA thing. <laughs> and all of a sudden, my boxing took off. And so there was, boxing was starting to take off. And there was a fighter. Please look it up, people, if you are somebody. But Don King had this white chick. Her name was Christy. No, or uh, 
She it was her champion back then, 88, 89, 90, whoever her, I can't, it was Christy, I can't think of her name. But anyway, I was contacted to go train at Don King's farm and to fight her. And I had to make a choice coming back from Japan to the States. I was going to choose that. I should have just for the experience, but then, you know, women's boxing died real quick, but I chose wrestling to continue. And so with my background on that, um, and just with the wrestling, and then I started doing movies before then, and I did shoot fighter Two, death match inter sanction. I was just a paramedic in that one, but still it was like all these fighting roles. And I, I choreographed and wrote the fight scene in Deathmatch. It was incredible. And I was like, oh my God. And then I saw that and I'm like, son of a bitch. I must have pissed on somebody's cornflakes because <laughs> they didn't ask me to go. But again, in this yep. business, you cannot take things personal. They probably just wanted different talent there. But then again, I saw Trish. And I'm like, what has Trish got to do with MMA fighting? She looks fucking amazing, but she does not fight. <laughs> she does look you good hit, in the eye. You hit the nail on you hit the nail on the head. She looks fucking amazing. And you were correct. It's Christy <laughs> Martin. Christy, Christy Martin, Martin was the it. boxer. Yes, yes ma'am. That's who they were gonna have yeah. put me in with their camp. Let me tell you. Oh my god, I would love. I don't wonder if she even knows about it, like, you know, the whole thing. Oh, I would love to see. I wonder what she's doing nowadays. Hopefully she's still around. 